Hey everyone, and welcome to Servant Kids Online. It's been a pretty great month so far. We've been learning about how creative God is and how he created us to also be creative too. Creativity is imagining what you can do because you are made in God's image. How great is that? We are made in God's image. And it's great because, well, God is great. Who remembers our memory verse for this month? It comes from Psalm 145, verse three, and says, Lord, you are great. You are really worthy of praise. No one can completely understand how great you are. It's true. It's impossible for us to know just how great God is. And you might even say, God is indescribable. The best way we can point others to God is by doing one simple thing, showing love. Listen to these words that Jesus said in John 13, 35. If you love one another, everyone will know you are my disciples. Let's sing this song together. So let's get up on our feet and praise and worship God because the love that we show to others is the love that comes from him. So let's sing together now. Six-legged chicken. It's chicken for everyone. Hmm. Sheep that can shear themselves. <laughs> A pair of glasses that'll let you see behind you. Oh yeah. Beef jerky made out of chicken? 
novels. Oh, this is the best idea yet. Ah, where do they come from? <laughs> so strange. Clothes that are made from other clothes. Pat Sajak, scented deodorant. <laughs> Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and we're wearing awesome mustaches. Yes, we are. Why? Because we're chefs, and every self respecting chef has a mustache. Gordon Ramsay doesn't have a mustache. Okay, that's one. Bobby Flay, Emeril, Martha Stewart. Subpar chefs. They're like the most famous chefs in the world. Below par. Okay, who are the, the above par chefs then with mustaches? Chef Louis. Chef Lu the guy from The Little Mermaid? Uh -huh. That doesn't count. Oh, okay, what about uh, Chef Remy from Ratatouille? Oh, no, no, no. Those are whiskers, plus he's a rat and a cartoon. Uh. Doesn't count. Aha! What about the greatest chef in history, Chef Boyardee? He was a genius. <laughs> okay, you got me there. Mm -hmm. We're dressed like this because we are making an old family recipe today. Snickerdoodle soup surprise? Not your family's recipe. Uh. An old family recipe from someone who knows stuff. Ooh. Bonjour. Come on in, have a seat. Oh, this is cool. Tell us who you are and what you know. I'm Madeleine Lemold, but I am called Maddie, and I know quite a bit. I know every runner of the Tour de France for the last two decades. I know how to put together a Bugatti racing engine. Oh. But I am most known for what I can cook. Great, you're a cook. <laughs> Quoi? No, 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 no. I am a chef. And by the way, I do not have a mustache. Oh, yeah. It suits you. Merci. So, uh, what, what are you gonna cook for us today? Le poisson! Le poisson? <laughs> le poisson! Oh, I love le poisson! Oh, me too. <laughs> but uh, no. We are making a 250 year old recipe passed down in my family for generations. Ooh, sounds mysterious. What's the recipe for? French fries. You know, I heard that uh, French fries actually originated from the country of Belgium. Oh, so they're really Belgian fries. Yeah. No, they are French fries. Yeah, but if you look on the internet- They are French fries. Okay. Some people like to peel the potatoes. My family's recipe leaves the skin on. Now we cut them. All right, where do we- Voila! Start. You batter the fries. All right. Oh! This batter is what makes these french fries so special and so delicious. <laughs> this batter is made with flour ground from the wheat kernels from the finest wheat fields in France. <laughs> and then we add a precise amount of white grape juice squeezed by and directly into the bowl. Mm. And then, of course, this batter contains the perfect blend of our secret family herbs and spices. Mm, yum, better up. You yep. put the duck fat in the pot. All right, this is duck fat? Yes, of course. <laughs> what else would you cook in? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brandon. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, Chef Maddie, uh, is, there, uh, is there like a recipe or something in a cookbook or on the internet that in case anyone wants to try this the at home? The internet? A cookbook? Quoi? No, 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 no. This is a secret family recipe. I was taught this recipe by my father, who learned it from his mother, who learned it from her great aunt, who learned it from her great grandfather, Chef Jean Baptiste Honoré Le Monde. Did he have a mustache? We do not 
tell people the secret of the recipe because then, then everyone would know it. Well, I just thought that if the recipe is, is so delicious that you would want other people to know it so they could, you know, share in the deliciousness. Huh. This is something I have not thought about. It, it has always just been a recipe passed down in my family. Oh, well, I can't wait to pass it down my throat and to my belly. So are we going to cook these Belgian fries or what? Yes, of course. You must bake them bit by bit at 375 degrees until they are golden brown. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Aren't you, you're sticking around to watch us cook them, right? Oh, I'm afraid not. No, I... I do not think I can keep this recipe to myself any longer. Everyone should know, no? No. I mean, yes. I mean, what? Be on the lookout for Chef Nadie's cookbook where all of my secrets will be revealed. Magnifique! Oh. Bye! She didn't even say bye. Well, she's in a hurry. Do you, do you want to put these in the oven? Wee <sighs> wee. Oui, oui. Oh, you speak French now. No, 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 no. I, uh, I have to tinkle. Wee oui, wee. Oui. <sighs> ah! Oh! And I had to tinkle and put on some skin. Ow! It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, what's that delicious smell? Oh, we're cooking up some French fries, Kellen. Yeah, they should be ready by the time the story's over. Mm. Well, let's get to it. The story today comes from Jesus' most famous sermon in the Bible. And since Jesus preached this sermon from the side of a mountain, today we call it the Sermon on the Mount. The Sermon from the Mouths? I thought all sermons were from the mouths. No, the Sermon on the Mount. It's short for mountain. A short mountain is called the hills. Okay. So everyone, this is my friend Horvath. Um, I'm guessing he's here to help me tell today's story. Thank you for having me on your shows, Kellens. I am Horvath, and I am an expert in combining the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. Perfect. So I'll tell the story, and Horvath, you give us some exercises to help us remember it. All right. Let's do this. Okay, so Jesus was talking to a crowd of people from the side of a mountain. One of the things he said to his followers was this, you are the salt of the earth. Ah, first exercise. Okay, we are going to make salt for the earth. All right, so I put my hands on my hips like this and then rotate around. Click, 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 click. This is called the salt grinder. We do it 24 times. Ready? Go, one. Click, click, click. 14, click, click, click. Elastic girl, click, click, click. Three hole punch, click, click, click. 24, hey, we make salt of the earth. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Yeah. But what do you think Jesus was talking about when he said you are the salt of the earth? Yeah, so when Jesus said, you are the salt of the earth, I'm pretty sure he wasn't saying we actually taste like salt. But salt is used to make food taste better, and salt is used to keep certain foods fresh. So maybe if we're the salt of the earth, Jesus was saying that we have the opportunity to make the world better somehow. You see? <laughs> okay. Um... Jesus kept going. He said, you are the light of the world. Ah, second exercise. We are not salt anymore. Click, 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 click. We are lights. So let us pretend to be lighthouses. Stand straight and rotate your head like a light all the way around. I call this, turn the lights on. We do it 137 times. Go, one. Uh, 26! Uh, grape nuts! Uh, Willie Shoemaker! Uh, 137! Oh, what's next, Kellens? 
Right. So first Jesus called people who followed him salt, and then he said we were light. Well, what do you think that means? Oh, no, don't, 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 don't do that again. No, no, no. Here, uh, maybe this will help. Jesus said, you are the light of the world. People don't light a lamp and put it under a bowl, right? Right. Right. Instead, they put it on its stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they'll see the good things you do, and they'll bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. I think I understand. You do? No. Ah, that's okay. It can be confusing sometimes. Jesus was saying that if you are someone who trusts and follows him, you should live in such a way that brings light into what can sometimes be a dark world. You should be looking for creative ways to do things and creative ways to love others. And when we do that, it will point others to God. All right, let's do this. Seventh exercise. I call this one ladders to heaven. So we can point people to God's. Okay, so we raise our hands and legs is at the same times, just like we are climbing the ladders to heaven. And then when we reach the top, we point like this. Huh? Okay, we climb 45 of the ladder rungs. Go! One, 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 one. Six, 45! Now point to God because he is the most important. Ah, 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 I think I need to take the elevator. Ah. Good idea. Bye, Horvath. Ah. Ah. Going down. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Well, just in case that wasn't clear, it boils down to this. You have the light inside of you, and it's up to you to decide how to use it. You can keep it to yourself, or you can let it shine. Back to you guys. Thanks, Kellen. Hey, what are some ways we can shine our lights? Oh, there are so many different ways because everyone is so different. Sometimes it's as simple as being nice to someone. Anyone can do that. But sometimes you need to use your own unique talents and abilities to point people to God. What's important is that you don't keep it to yourself. I mean, do you ever think about how you'd feel if someone didn't point you to God? I would feel so left out. Yeah. Jesus has been such a big part of my life. I want everyone to know him. Exactly. You're the best, Kellen. Thanks for shining your light. You bet. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Let's do it. All right. Reveal the question. Who first told you about God's story? What a great question, because those were people who shone their light to us. For, for me, it was a, a, a guy named Brett in my senior class at high school. Oh, cool. For me, it was my, my grandmother. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. For me, it was my mom when she took me to Sunday school for the first time. Awesome. Are the fries ready yet? Oh. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Oh, yum. Oh, yum, too. Also, yum. Oh, these are amazing. Yeah, <laughs> good. We got to tell people about this. I think you're right. I think we should. No, now. We need to tell people right now. Hey, everybody, you got to try this. Okay, we'll see you guys next week for another so and so show. Oh, it's all good. Try it right now. Right now. John. John. I'm ready to get I'll be running. You do the spin. <coughs> All of them. As you dig into your day, think about this question. Who first told you about God's story? Who was the salt and the light for you? Who really helped you to understand what it means to be loved by God and helped you to continue on your journey as you learn more about how to love others the way God loves us? So before we head out, I want us to pray together and thank God for how wonderful He is. So let's pray. Dear God, 
Thank you so much for creating everything we can see. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for creating everyone here today watching this video and even the ones that aren't watching this video. I know you created us to know you and you want the same thing for everyone in our lives. Everyone will ever meet. You want all of us to understand how much you love us. Help us use our creativity to shine our light for you. We can do this as we share your story with others. Help us to tell others about you with our words and with our actions. We love you and we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you all have an incredible week and if you have started school again, have a great week learning too. We'll see you soon. Bye.